Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about using Google Forms in Google Classroom and also going beyond just using Google Forms for maybe an assignment or a test of some sort, but using it more for the purpose of allowing kids to see data and allowing kids to see what their class feels about a topic. So this would be a great way for you to ask questions about a specific topic and see what your class thinks about it. So that way everyone can benefit from a way to look at that data, maybe build some graphs, um, maybe even just build some dialogue based off that data that is created by the entire class. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First things first, I'm gonna to need to create an assignment and I'm gonna to need to include the form that I have created for this. So we're gonna say, complete the survey and analyze the data. You could even create a graph. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and find my survey in my Google Forms. And I just called it survey for class. And so this includes the actual survey itself. The other thing I'm going to include is the actual data sheet. Now, when I was in Google Forms, something that I did was I went ahead and created the data sheet so that way I could find the data sheet here. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the data sheet Here's my survey for class responses. I'm gonna select it. Now, I'm gonna also make this that the students can view the file. And the reason why I'm gonna do that is because if I do it that each student gets a copy, they don't see everyone's results. There's an issue there where it only seems to be that they see their own results, but not their classmates. I don't know what the deal is. Or maybe when I had tried this, when I had made a copy, not all the results were in. Uh, but I had some issues with it when I had tested this out at a previous session. So I would make it that they can view the file, and then you'll see what I mean in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and assign this, and I'm going to go to my student account. So now I'm in my student account. I'm going to update the stream here, and here they can participate in the form itself. They would click on the survey and participate. And so this is a fun way that you could collect some data about any topic. This is completely random and it really has nothing to do with anything, but it's just to show that you have the ability to collect that data. Uh, they can go ahead and open the assignment, or I could have clicked off this tab. Either one would have worked. And now they have also the response sheet. They've already participated in the actual survey. And here is the data, and this, this is where they could actually look and see what their classmates think. If you wanted them to be able to actually manipulate this data, the tricky part is, is that right now they are only in view-only mode. So in order for students to be able to do that, what they're going to need to do, and I apologize for these boxes popping up, one of the things that they can do right away is they can go to File and make a copy and they'll make a copy for themselves. And now they can go and make a graph of whatever data they want if you would like them to do so.